morning and welcome to music. We're still looking at our Scottish theme. We'll be doing various songs and other activities to do with Scotland. If you're at home, please join in with all the singing. And if you're at school, you can hum along quietly and certainly do all the actions. So let's get ready to go. As most of us are now at home, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our good mornings. So I sing good morning everyone and you sing back good morning Mrs Jones. Here we go. People who are in school, you can join in all the actions. Okay, here we go. Good morning everyone. over the ocean. So I'm playing the tune, you're singing the song and every time you get to the word bonnie, if you're sitting at the moment, you're going to stand up. The next time you get to the word bonnie, you're going to sit down and so on. Okay, so I'll play the piano, you're following what Ailey's doing. Okay, so starting the sitting, here we go. <laughs> sitting on Bonnie and Bring. Okay, Bonnie and Bring. sit on every word that begins with the letter B or the sound B. Okay, so that's bring back Bonnie. Good luck. And we're going to start sitting. Here we go. My Bonnie lies over the Bring back, oh bring back my body to 
well done. And now for the Dum Dum song. We haven't done this for quite a while, so we'll just go over the actions. Ailey will be doing the actions, so copy her. So the first verse is two taps on your knees and two claps all the way through. The second verse is two claps, sorry, two taps on your knees, then to one side, back to your knees, other side, back to your knees, and so on. The next verse is two taps on your knees, crossing over, back to your knees, and out to the side. And then the last verse is two taps on your knees and shoulders, two taps on your knees, other shoulders. That's us. Okay, here we go from the beginning. Duncan is playing his cajon for us, which is a kind of drum, and he's giving a lovely drum beat. Here's the introduction. for quite a while so we'll go over it just a bit at a time. I'll do a bit, you copy it with Ailey. Here we go. Bim bum bim bum biddy biddy bum bim bum bim bum biddy biddy bum biddy bum biddy biddy bum bim bum biddy bum biddy biddy bum bim bum bim bum bim bum biddy biddy bum Bim bum bim bum biddy biddy bum biddy bum biddy biddy bum bim bum biddy bum biddy biddy bum bim bum bim bum biddy biddy bum bim bum biddy biddy bum biddy bum biddy biddy bum bim bum biddy bum biddy biddy bum bim bum bim bum biddy biddy bum Good, well done. This time we'll do it all together. Ready, steady, here we go. Bim bum, bim bum, biddy biddy bum, biddy bum, biddy biddy bum, bim bum. Bim bum, bim bum, biddy biddy bum, biddy bum, biddy biddy bum, bim bum. Bim bum, biddy biddy bum, biddy bum, biddy biddy bum, bim bum. Bim bum, biddy biddy bum, biddy bum, biddy biddy bum, bim bum. And the last time we'll do it a wee bitty faster. Ready, steady, here we go. Bim bum, bim bum, biddy biddy bum, biddy bum, biddy biddy bum, bim bum. Bim bum bim bum biddy biddy bum biddy bum biddy biddy bum bim bum Bim bum biddy biddy bum biddy bum biddy biddy bum bim bum Bim bum biddy biddy bum biddy bum biddy biddy bum bim bum Well done. With start and stop, you're going to try and play along with Duncan. Either play on a table or on your knees. Try to do exactly what he's doing.
Our next song is a Gilly Peace song, written by Adam McNaughton, which describes the 1960s in Glasgow, when many families lived in poor housing. The decision was taken to demolish many tenement buildings and build high-rise flats in the East End. Up until that time, as the tenements weren't too high, children playing in the street could call up to their mum at the window for a jammy piece which would be thrown down to eat. The song tells us what happens when a jammy piece is thrown from the 19th floor of a skyscraper flat. And now for the Chili Piece song. to see Ali Turner from the Scottish band Tidelines as he tells us all about the bagpipes. Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about the bagpipes. There are many different types of bagpipe but these ones in particular are the Great Highland Bagpipe. When you start learning the pipes you start 
on an instrument called a practice chanter. So the practice chanter is what we learn our scale, our technique and the first couple of tunes on. And then we progress on to the bagpipes. The bagpipes have many different parts to them. They include the chanter, which is the same as the practice chanter, only a little bigger. We have the blowpipe and we have three drones. The big one here is called the bass drone. Then we have two tenor drones here. And then finally, we have the bag. To make a sound out of the bagpipes, we blow through the blowpipe, which then inflates the bag. Then air comes out through the drones, making sound there. And air also comes out through the chanter, which makes a sound there. When we play the bagpipes, the drones give a continuous sound and we play the melodies on the chanter. There are many different types of tunes we can play on the bagpipes. Some of these include march, spay and reels, but just now I'm going to play you a jig. Guys. And now a very short game to do with musical pitch. Pitch is to do with how high or how low something is. So if this is high up here and this is low down here. Pitch is nothing at all to do with how loud anything is. So if you hear a high sound, you're putting your hands on your head. If you hear a low sound, Put your hands on your knees and if you hear a middle sound put your hands on your shoulders okay let's go from the beginning and you've got your eyes closed here we go closed now the next one remember you have two hands well done and now a short film about Callum MacLeod, a crofter from the island of Rassi near Skye, who spent 10 years building a spectacular section of road because no one else would. The music you'll hear is called Callum's Road and is played by the Scottish band Capper Cayley. in Scotland, it could be argued that none is a story of triumph over adversity like this one. It may be just a modest mile and three quarters long, but the fact that it's here at all is testimony to the heroic efforts of just one man, armed with just a shovel, a pick and a wheelbarrow. This is Callum's Road on the island of Razi, a strip of tarmac it is a place of pilgrimage. Born in 1911, Callum MacLeod came from a long line of tough, hard-working crofters based in Arnish, a community of about 100 in the north end of Razi. Like the rest of the Western Isles, Rassay was experiencing steady depopulation. Many of the families moved to the south of the island, where there was a road and access to the ferry. For those that remained in the north, the road stopped at Brochel 
and had to make their way on foot across a landscape of bog and boulders. Frequent petitions to the local authority to build a road were ignored. And so Callum decided to do things his own way. All this has been done in between working his craft single-handed and serving as a relief lighthouse keeper on Rona. 60 now, Callum has the energy and determination of a man half his age. Callum bought himself a manual called Road Making and Maintenance, a practical treatise for engineers, surveyors and others. It began in 1964 and spent the next decade carefully constructing the one and three quarter miles of road between Brocco Castle and Orange. By 1973, Callum was inching ever closer to his goal. And I'll get it right through to my clock. Once I get the road chimed here, you see, it'll be fit for my Land Rover to go through. So I'm within 400 yards of my house already. Once it, this diversion is uh, chimed up, the rest is plain sail. Will there be a ceremony when you ride along it? Oh, well, very likely. I'll be running back and forth with the Land Rover the first couple of days non-stop. When Callum finished this road, it was good enough for his Land Rover, but he only drove it to the end and back. He never passed his driving test. quarter miles isn't very long, but when you consider the terrain that he was working in, it turns into a truly epic piece of engineering. The work of just one crofter and his trusted wheelbarrow. This road is a remarkable tribute to an amazing man, Callum McLeod. And now for Scotland the Brave, so stand up and get ready. Remember to count eight before we start. And now for some rhythm and clapping. A pattern will appear on the screen. I'm going to clap it and you're going to clap it after me and say the words after me. Ta, ta, te, te, ta. Te, te, ta, te, te, ta. Te, 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 ta. Rest, te, 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 te. Ta, rest, rest, te, te. 
te te ta rest ta te 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 ta te te rest ta And now to finish, we'll have the three crows. So the first crow couldn't flee at all. That's the actions for that. Second crow fell and broke his jaw. And the third crow was greeting for its maw, pretend to cry. And the fourth crow wasn't there at all. Here we go from the beginning. for this week. Well done with all your music making. I'll see you next time. Bye!